Yes, they call her the old girl, but sadly, uh, they say they still haven't got space now for the 1953 Bristol K at their depot anymore, but they would still like to be able to wheel her out from time to time for special occasions. Well, let's cross live to the old girl now. Caroline Faraday's in Brighton. <laughs> Sorry, Caroline, couldn't resist. It's a good job I like you. Otherwise, <laughs> you wouldn't have got away with that. Here she is. We brought her down to the seafront so that she looks lovely. She's been causing quite a stir, actually. Um, here's the driver. Is it all right if we get on, driver? Thumbs up from the driver. And if you can see that, that is old fashioned uh, air conditioning on buses. Because they have them, they're properly air conditioned these days. They even have Wi Fi on the buses. Not so when this was in service in the 50s and 60s and would have been running up and down the seafront here. But someone who can tell us a little bit more about the history of this bus is the head of the bus company, uh, Martin. Martin Harris, thank you very much indeed. Um, tell us more about this bus then. Well, it's a beautiful old bus, isn't it? Just look at it. But uh, there were 4,000 of these built by. Uh, the uh, Bristol company back in the 30s to 40s and um, Brighton and Hove brought uh, 160 of them, 163 to be precise, 66 of which were this particular type, the KSW and uh, now it's the only one, it's the only one in the fleet, they, they ran from 1953 to 1968 uh, on services in the Brighton and Hove area, service 2, service 5. She's obviously much loved but you have no space for her anymore. No, sadly, uh, space really is at a premium and um, we've been using it for weddings and things like that, special events. We've had some very special guests, a transport minister, we've had some ladies in lingerie draped all over this bus. But despite all the fun we've had with her, um, we really are running out of space for her now and uh, we're looking for a really good home for her, someone who's going to look after her as well as we have. So you're looking for a loving home, someone to look after her. How do they get in touch? Just go to our website, buses.co.uk and uh, you know, people can pick up the links there and it'll tell them all about it and, uh, and they can get in touch if they would like to look after it for us. Very nice. Thank you very much, Martin. And uh, we get to go back to the old boy in the studio now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Touché. you very much. I like it. They're